it's not there. I think it's gone. What did I do with it? If there are some that I kept from my last spring clean and the spring clean before that, I have to get rid of it. Never wore this book. Eh, try to do this. See, that could be cute. I don't know what my problem is. It's big on me. I need a coffee or a matcha. I need something to sip on. Oh, see, here's another one. Keeping it, okay? Cute. Maybe I do need to keep this one. I'm not doing very well. So why don't I wear these? Note to self, get a new belt. This rack isn't even cute. Don't look at all that. You can look at her, but don't look at anything else. <laughs> Do you mind? I look like my business. You just want attention, huh? Hi guys, it's another day. I don't know when was the last day I saw you guys. I think it was like two days ago, but yesterday I did a lot more spring cleaning. This is how much I've gotten rid of so far. That entire pile is clothes that I'm getting rid of. That, I don't even wanna say. That's basically my niece's Christmas gifts. I know, it's like March. Basically, it's basically April. But the reason why I haven't given it to her is because she lives like 14 hours away and I still have my, ne my nephew's gifts too in the corner. That was that, I have a whole nother mess over there. Oh my gosh, you guys can see that mess, hold on. <laughs> that's what we're doing here we're trying to get rid of the mess i was originally supposed to go visit them right after christmas right around christmas time and then january didn't work out then february got busy and now it's already end of march still planning on going so i'd rather give it to them in person but considering i might just have to ship it out to them which sucks because i want to be there when they open it but it's already her birthday in two days might as well be a combined christmas birthday gift but anyway I organized my belts yesterday, you guys saw that, but now I'm thinking I need to get rid of some of these because I've had these all for a really long time and I know I haven't worn 85% of them. Also, I lost my Louis Vuitton one and it's not in the closet. I thought it would be in the closet. It's not there. I think it's gone. What did I do with it? I know when I wore it last. Let's decide which belts I should get rid of. I want to go through my jeans next because I haven't worn also probably like 60% of these, 75% of these maybe, I haven't worn in a really long time. So I think this time, if there are some that I kept from my last spring clean and the spring clean before that, I have to get rid of it. I'm gonna be stricter on myself. This belt, never wore this belt. It's too big anyway. Maybe it'll fit my mom. The clasp is super cute, look at it. Pinch it, Joop. I think it's really cute, but realistically, am I going to wear it? Okay, getting rid of it. I think I kept it because I was like, oh, I can totally resize it. It's not hard. I used these tools before. I DIY'd my cat's all their own leather collar. I have all the tools to pinch it together and stuff like that. It's an easy process, but am I ever going to do it? Because I've had this for so long and I never altered it. So giving that up. This, I don't know what it came from, but I'm sure I need it to go with whatever it came with. Sometimes when something comes with a belt, I put it in here so I can wear it with other clothes too. Like this. Never wore it, but it comes with a set button up with a skirt. And this is the belt for the skirt. So I'm going to keep it in case I want to wear it with that. Chains. My Prada strap. I changed my purse. It came with this leather strap, but it started to rip. Just put this Kate Spade chain on it. Gold belt. Keep. This burgundy belt, I have a black one too. Am I ever really gonna wear the burgundy one? The black one, I probably will. See, that's cute. I, I like the thicker belts to wear over a blazer or I don't know, it'd be cute with a dress too. I'm gonna keep that one. I think the reason why I always keep this is because I have a pair of Michael Kors suede heels. They're literally identical to this color and material. So I always keep it because I think it'll look cute together. But what do you wear it with? see it being cute like with a little bohemian dress where's that one i showed you guys in my last video hold on i got this dress from the thrift store the biggest thrift haul i've ever done in my life but eh, i'm gonna try to do this see that could be cute i think i'm gonna keep it this one i should probably keep this one that one's cute I think the next one is big on me, so probably should get rid of it. No, this does not look like it's gonna be big on me. So why don't I wear these? Gold Western belt. Cute. 
don't know what my problem is. Black one. It's the only black one I have, so I'm keeping that one. This super cute belt, which I feel like, again, would be really cute over a blazer. The only thing is, it's a little big. Like, this is the piece that's supposed to be folded over. But I can probably just keep... See what I mean? Like, this material is a lot thicker. See what happens? And this is, like, thin and flimsy, so it's supposed to be all the way over here. It's a cool belt, but big on me. I don't know if my mom would wear this. This one is cool. I think it's pretty cool. But then I have a couple like this. This one's probably gotta go. I don't think I'll ever wear it. But it's the only belt I have in this color. Aside from that first one I showed that I'm getting rid of. I need to put an outfit together to really decide. But I don't feel like doing that right now. This to me also looks very western. I need a matcha or something. I, I can't work without having a drink like i need a coffee or a matcha i need something to sip on even if it's not really giving me energy it's like a mind game to me it makes me think it just makes me productive <laughs> maybe i'll keep this one a little longer if i don't wear it by the next closet clean out then i'll get rid of it i'm gonna try to incorporate this into some outfits and if it doesn't work with any outfits then i'll get rid of it also very western looking to me but it is a little bit big for the waist it has to be like lower See, I feel like it could be cool with a western look, again. And oh, see, here's another one. Another western belt. This one is kind of big on me. Well, no, actually. I can add one more hole and it'd probably fit better because there's a little bit of space, but that one's cute. Definitely doesn't go with these pants. None of these do. This could be a cool western look, too. Okay, this I think I gotta get rid of because I think I keep it because it's the only nude belt I have. It's Adidas. <laughs> it never goes with any of the nudes I wear. Anytime I have a nude outfit where I need a nude belt, it's never matched. I'm getting rid of that one. Note to self, get a nude belt. This one just doesn't work. Ooh, we got three down so far. Three that I'm getting rid of. Actually, oh, I think it's right here. I kept track the last time I did a closet clean out. Kept track of everything I got rid of. Handbags. 73 is how much I kept. 11 is how much I got rid of. So I would have had 84. I had 84 before I got rid of the 11. <laughs> okay, hats, I kept 11, I got rid of eight. But I got rid of, I get rid of some more? I think I did. No, I think I just packed away some winter, winter hats in storage. Pants, I got rid of 15. Button up tops, I got rid of 26. That's just like collared shirts. Heels, I got rid of 10. Sandals slash flats, I got rid of eight. Boots, I got rid of two pairs. I got rid of three. Yeah, I got rid of three more. I should keep track again. The reason why I did this is because I wanted to invest into a couple of designer pieces at the time. And I told myself, if I want designer, I have to get rid of a certain amount of clothes. Like for every 10 pieces of clothes I get rid of, I'll let myself buy something designer. That's kind of what this was all about. Never really went through with it. I never even finished going through like every category. Well, I did jackets, handbags, hats, pants, button-ups, heels, sandals, slash flats, boots, belts. Oh, belts, I got rid of four. So I can add to that. Uh, belts, shorts, bralettes, sweaters. I need to write down sweaters because so far I wrote down one. So yeah, that's, that's one of the categories I don't think I really went through. Long sleeves, I got rid of 18. Like just thinner, you know, long sleeves. But I got rid of more in the pile. T-shirts, dresses, jumpsuits. Got rid of four jumpsuits. Skirts, I got rid of eight. Hoodies, blazers, tanks. So I can definitely add to tanks too. Did I get rid of any blazers? I don't think so. I think I kept, I love my blazers. This is like some of my blazers hanging. And then I have some in storage, like my spring ones I had put away in storage. My colored ones like blue, yellow, green, purple, pink. Anyways, I should keep track and add to this because it'll be interesting to see how much within about a year span, how much clothes I got rid of. I love clothes so I accumulate a lot of clothes over the years and I still have clothes from like high school I have one long sleeve shirt that still fits me it was from I don't know my elementary years I don't remember what grade exactly but it was like a tight brown long sleeve with like gold little stripes I don't I never wear it but like sometimes I keep things like that for keepsakes like that's like one of the only things from elementary aside from I have some like baby clothes too but that anyway okay there's I don't need to explain myself <laughs> 
I'm downsizing. That's all that matters. But I want to keep track with this because that will be interesting to look back at to see how much I got rid of this time around that I wanted to keep last time. Because this time I'm trying to be a little ruthless. Is that the right word? I think I had two like this last time, so I know I ended up getting rid of one. I think this one I can keep. I feel like I want to end up keeping a lot again. Similar to the brown one we tried on, but it's a black little clasp like this. And I know I had two of these too. I got rid of one of them last time. They were both black, but they had different like texture. So I think I got rid of the other one. It was like a very shiny leather. And this one has like a little bit of a realistic leather. Wait a minute. Did we look at this already? I know I'm keeping this one, I like it. Then there's this one. See, they're so similar, but they're different. This one has pattern. They're just different. <laughs> keeping it, okay. I know they're similar, but I feel like they give off a slightly different vibe. Okay, this one I can get rid of. I've had this forever, probably since middle school. It's nice because you can make it whatever size you want. You just stick it into the braid. So what I used to do is this. That's how I would wear it. Okay, I'm getting rid of this one. Or is it cute? <laughs> uh, do I have any black and silver? Did I try any black and silver on? I think I only have the western one and this one, which we haven't gotten to, but it's also very different. It's like a thicker, thicker belt or buckle. But I do like this one. I wear it pretty often, so I'm going to keep this one. Not often, but I do wear that one. Now I'm thinking maybe I do need to keep this one. I'm not doing very well. We're down to the last few. This one I'm getting rid of. I feel like this one kind of looks like men's anyway. I think my sister convinced me to keep it last time. It's a gunmetal black buckle. I mean, it could look good with. The only thing I'm thinking that I could wear this with is if I put it on black trousers, black dress pants. If I don't want anything to stand out, like silver or gold. Should I try on a pair just to see? I guess I'll keep this one. <laughs> I'll keep this one too. This one and this one I'll keep in the corner where I know that if I'm not able to make an outfit with them next couple times I go out or whatever the next month or so, I'm going to get rid of them. But if I can come up with a cute outfit, I'll keep them. These are the last two. Honestly, don't remember if I've ever worn them. But they are cute. I think I have. I'm sure I have. I think it's cute. I think I will keep those. Especially, I think it'd be cute over a blazer. How in the world did this bottle cap get in there? So I just like to twist it around like that. I like to get these little elastics. Put it in here. And just go around and hook it. That way they just stay in a little circle. And then I organize it. I want to go clean this out. There's like some elastics that ripped in there. It just looks yucky. So I'm gonna go clean that out real quick. Grab a couple more elastics and reorganize this. Do a better job. Okay, again, don't look at all that. You can look at her, but don't look at anything else. <laughs> she is sunbathing. This is how it's looking. It's pretty organized, but it looks this good every time I go through it and then it doesn't last that long. This is my problem. I like to keep my closets organized. Normally my clothes are color coded, as you can tell. If you can look in the closet, it's pretty color coded. Do you mind? <laughs> She's just like, I live in my business. You just want attention, huh? You just want attention? Good girl. Anyway, I'm very organized when it comes to my closet. I like to keep my clothes neat. But then the problem is I don't reach in for my clothes that often because I don't want to ruin how good it looks. So that's what I do with my dress pants. I should have filmed when I went through my... Kona! I should have filmed when I went through my dress pants because... 
It was looking a little messy from what I had pulled out and I just threw on top of the bin instead of putting it in how it normally goes. So I do need a better solution of ways to keep it in its place without having to make a mess getting it out. Anyways, let's just hope it stays looking like this and let's hope I reach in there for stuff. Anyways, these two, this one actually is a cute belt. Also, I imagine it worn over a blazer. It has the elastic back though, which I don't love. That one's cute. And then this one I have, I think it's a boy's belt. It's like all elastic, except for this front piece is leather. I have this belt so that I can put it on. My ear is ringing. I put it on my waist and then that way I can tuck my sweater underneath it. So I use it just to crop clothes basically, if keeping that one. I was able to squeeze this one on the side. Maybe this one can go right on top of it. This is the one I used to crop clothes, so that one's not very like decorative. And as long as I can close it. Oh, and then I have the chains. I think I can keep this somewhere else maybe. Technically these are for bags, so maybe I'll keep this with my purses. I'll probably keep this chain. That way this just looks a little nicer. Closes. Now I have all these scarves, which I think I'm just gonna keep them all. I'm not even gonna go through that. I got rid of three. This rack isn't even cute, but I just keep it because it's convenient. I don't have enough space. <sighs> now what? Here are my trousers. I wanted to show you how neat it looks and color coded for now, uh, but then I don't like to pull anything out. See, like these pants I pulled out to try on with this shirt and now it bothers me that it's not like nice and neat in there. I need a better solution because this looks nice for now, but I feel like I don't like to reach in there and like I obviously don't remember everything I have so I'm gonna have to pull things out to see and then it gets messy. So I feel like I just need to find a better solution. If things are hung, it works so much better for me because I'm able to see everything. I don't feel like I'm making a mess looking through it, which is why I hung my jeans. But maybe once I go through this, maybe I can fit some of those on here as well because I'm hoping to get rid of half of this. That's the plan. This makes me feel so much more productive when I write it down. So far, I got rid of three belts, two blazers, seven sweatpants, 12 pants, as in like linen pants or dress pants, 12 of those, 10 shorts. So that's including denim shorts or like sweat shorts. Did I count those? I think so. I think I did. Long sleeve slash bodysuits, six in total, and tanks I got rid of four in total. So not too bad. I did get rid of a couple coats and sweaters and cardigans and scarves and stuff. I didn't count that yet. I do want to go through my dresses, but I feel like I'm gonna wanna keep all those dresses. I think I'm doing pretty good so far. So 44 pieces that I got rid of so far. Well, more, I didn't count the other stuff, but. I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm gonna continue decluttering slash putting winter clothes away because I'm hoping there's not gonna be many more cold days. I actually do need to go get some more vacuum seal bags. I went the other day and got six more and I need more. I have like big ones. There's one right here, but then it's gonna be too heavy if I pack it with clothes. I'd rather use that for quilts and stuff like that or comforters, which I am gonna put some of my comforters away since it's summer now. We're, well, not yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to the summer too much. But anyway, I'm going to have thinner blankets and stuff like that. So I'm going to put some quilts away. But doing pretty good.